Dead. Hmm. I'm gonna return to a burnout shirt. Hmm. What? What? I want to turn my truck into a burnout truck. Which truck? The International. No one with a Detroit in it? Yep. How much power you want? 1,000 horsepower. 1,000 horsepower? Yep. Brax has got a Detroit in it. That ain't possible. That is. You know what? What? I'm game. I can do that. Yeah. A thousand horsepower, Brax. A thousand horsepower, Bill. Did you hear that? He wants a thousand horsepower. All right, so all I can do for you today, Brax, being a Sunday, we can't get rods, pistons, gigantic turbos. All I can do is turn your bone stock Detroit up and see if we can make a thousand horsepower out of it. Yep. Think we can do it? Yeah. All right, well, let's go do this thing. So guys, we just went under contract with our house. So my life just got way busier than it already was. So uh, me and Brax wanna have a good fun day. And before we get real, real busy into all of this, we just wanna have a little fun. So we're gonna go get the International, see if we can't turn that baby to the moon. Yeah. Oh, we got to have booster box. There it lies. So guys, if you haven't been following along and seen these amazing start all booster boxes, um, I've got a couple of these and I couldn't live with that, especially during the winter. If you got trucks and drivers, you definitely want to have one of these. You don't have to roll around your big old 24 volt card anymore to get them boosted off in the winter time. These are really just amazing boxes and these aren't sponsored. I pay full price for these. I just really believe in them. Dang. Get the big tracker over here. Yeah, we can get sucker right out of there. I don't know how they get these houses on this little tiny road. I know, it's insane. All right, there she is, Brax. See if she'll come to life, bro. We got enough fuel to get it home? Yeah, they're both full. Cool. Oh, dang, boy, that old Detroit came right to life.
about to be a little different though. Yeah. Here's just a few minutes. I think Eric's our up when we get to the house. Jake? Oh yeah, the Jake's do work, don't they? Yeah, Jake. Right. Oh yeah, the Jake's work. This is the perfect truck for it. Because these things ain't real heavy either. I bet you they're as light as a day cab. Like we would probably be starting out in high gear anyway, so that's not gonna really matter because it is a little slow. I think probably the plunger needs to be rebuilt and the transmission. Or just waste the airline one too. Because shifting the high side, it's a little slow. Water pimp's good. We got good old pressure. It doesn't get really hot. No. Looks like it's got like 2 million miles on it. Yeah. I don't know what the motor's got on it, but I'd say close to a million probably. We got it, it was supposed to be pretty fresh, but I don't think that's the case. So we had to put injectors, cam. We had a lot of work in this thing. Get a bolt out of it. Uh, There's a bolt in it, yeah, you said it. I can't wait to get me a hood on it. Oh. Hey, what? I can't wait to get a new hood on it. A new hood? Yeah. Hey. We go hood stack this one? Pretty good. That makes it for better to do it. Yeah. We do like a zero. We can do a zero to sixty round. We 
got some guys up on the East Coast. Uh, a friend of ours has some friends up there that, uh, that wants to race Rooster. And uh, I just, I got so much money tied up in Rooster and I want to use that truck. It's going to build my business with our heavy haul stuff that I don't want to use it to race. I just don't want to use it to race. So we got this thing sitting around. It's, you know, it's not going to hurt us if we tear it up, blow the training out of it, tear the drive line out of it, uh, blow the motor up, you know. Uh, it's not going to hurt our feelings. So, but we're going to hurt their feelings if we bring this 7,500 R truck up there and, uh, and wax them. So either way, it's a win-win for us. We get to have fun. I feel like we can make this thing hurt some feelings. It's just an old stock Detroit. It's an old junker stock Detroit's all we got here in Brax. Yep. You guys are going to get to watch this the whole way to see what we put into it. Like we're not gonna be putting a ton of money into it. We're gonna build it with this crap we got laying around and It's gonna be fun. We gotta get the shifter in this thing. This shifter's all crazy. It's the one over there on your side. Yeah. I think it's just been. Or how they made it. Yeah. I kind of Yeah, I had to have a new shifter. Alright. Now, we gotta put the computer on it and see if we can make it run a little better. That's all we're doing to it today, guys. We are simply putting the ECM on it, making sure it's got enough air to breathe. Uh, do we got a barometer gauge? We do, but it's on 15 already, so. So that don't count. So we're definitely gonna have to put a barometer gauge in it. But let's have some fun. All right. Are you ready to break out the secret weapon? Yeah. I have not dared to even think about breaking this out, but for an occasion like this, I think it's needed. Yeah. Think so? Yeah. All right, let's go to our secret safe. Well. You ready for this? Yeah. All right. Here it lies. Here is the beast, the one and only burnout truck you'd see him. So this thing actually survived the fire, hopefully. I mean, it smells like it survived it. Okay. Um, I did put some lithium grease in that thing. Let's see if it's hard. No, it's not hard. But I put some lithium grease in it to hopefully, uh, but this was in my orange toolbox when the shot burned, and somehow it looks like it survived. Yeah. So we're gonna put it on the truck, and this CCM, the, the burnout truck, we guesstimated that thing, uh, you know, 1,000 horsepower plus. Now these are not accurate numbers. We've never had it on the dyno to see exactly what it puts out. Back in the day, when I first started sled pulling that truck, this has been years and years ago, um, we had it up to 800 horsepower with a stock set of injectors and a big turbo. So, um, and with this last setup, I don't know what it would be, but it's, uh, Lawrence thinks it probably made 1,100 horsepower or plus. We will have to, you know, do a few things to this truck. It's got a good turbo on it, don't it, Brex? Yeah. Has it got a 172 on it? Um, if not, that turbo is going to be history here in a few minutes. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's see what we got going on here. It's a little dirty in here. So we do have a new radiator for cooling. Yeah. And, I mean, I just don't feel like we'll ever put this truck on the road. But I do feel like we could do some cool sled pulling with it and have some fun with it. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. Let's go see what turbo we got. <laughs> we might have to... It's a little small. Is it? It's not too big. See? Yeah, see the baby. 
You put the one off the branch, I think. Yeah, we'll probably have to do that. I mean, we'll play with it a little bit and see what it does. But I can imagine it's about to spin that turbo out of its mind. What if it did? Brax, I know why the air conditioner ain't working now. Why? Because oh. it's not even there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's probably why it's not working real good. Might be true. But, oh well, let's see what we can do with it. Yep. So guys, I don't know what it's gonna be like, but reality's sort of setting in. You know, this was our first big home buy, and we got we bought this house during COVID, and we just went into contract six hours ago on it. As long as it passes the home inspection, it is sold. Yep. So we actually got more money out of it than we were even asking. Yep. Which is awesome. The people are really cool. Um, they loved the house. They loved how we set everything up, which we've done a lot of work to this place. It does. So how you want the bull gear in one of these? We gotta take that front cover off. Oh, that whole one front cover? Yeah. Oh. We ain't doing that today. We just ain't gonna spend it over 4,000 RPMs. What we do is that? I'm definitely not spending over 4,000 RPMs. Uh, Brax, you didn't have to know where my tools are, do you? But... You got to have uh, your uh, baby Hudson. Mm -hmm. So baby Hudson's been in my tools, is what you're saying? Yeah, well, I don't know how tough he was. I wasn't whooping for it. He was going to whoop him? Yep. I think he was probably whooping you. Mm. Probably hit me in the back. <laughs> it's hot out. It is a little warm. I'm getting my eyes. My eyes are burning. Uh, we need some 12 point sockets. 12 point. Where's the service truck at? It's down at the shop, I bet. Let me see if it's a work. Well, that's a farm, so. Might just be correct. That fits. Alright, there's the old one off. I'll go put that one on there. You ready for a new one? Think so? Yeah. Think she'll wake up a little bit? Just a little bit. Because yeah. we ended up having to go get the big toolbox. Yes, it's big. I'm just going to put that one on there. Yep. Then it should be down there. Oh, the farm room is burnt up in the mud. Yeah, we're going to have to do like I did the burnout truck and run the Charlie handle in there, the brake handle into the front brakes. Put this back on. So you start up. Put it back on. I would say she should come back to life, Mr. Broxton. Think she'll black smoke? I would imagine it might a little bit. Just a little bit. We have injectors if we need them. Right now, we don't have injectors. Alright, she's on there. Oh. I gotta, still gotta mount it, but we can see if it's going right. Oh, I'm gonna see Because, I mean, this... ECM went to the fire. Oh, you got to boost it all? I forgot about that. Where's the booster at? It's in it. Green? Yeah, don't rev it up. Just let it idle. Fire it up. I don't know if that's the burnout ECM or not. Let's tap it a little bit. Not the burnout ECO. Where's it at? There was two on it. You think you might have the wrong one on it? Well, we got another good ECM. That's a good problem to have. Yeah, two. <laughs> we didn't have a, I didn't think we had a spare. Yes, it's bad when it gets hot. Don't. Now that one's in a ball. I mean, I don't. Where's the burnout truck at, Brent? All right, guys. So, evidently, we lost the pool truck ECM to the or the burnout truck ECM to the fire. We thought this was it. Like we'd saved this out of one of the toolboxes, 
but clearly it was not it. So um, we are going to put another file in it. We're going to call this one sled truck. And this is gonna take some time, so we gotta start completely from scratch. So I got the computer mounted. This is a newer computer, like a DDEC4 uh, computer that I guess, we I thought it was on the burnout truck, but it wasn't. So we took this one off, which we'll update this one, we'll pull it apart and reseal it and all that, and just keep it as a spare. And then we're gonna see what we can do with this one. Brax ain't even heard it run yet. He's over here trying to negotiate a race. <laughs> I hope his download goes in, Brax. Come on, baby. Oh, it's going, it's going, it's going. We're at 34%. Oh, my goodness. Hope this old Fireburn ECM works. Come fire this thing up. Let's see what it does. Lawrence Tune installed. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure we just created a monster. And uh, we just we just shoved a good old Lawrence tune in this thing, an off-road Lawrence tune. I will say that this is going to be a competition truck. We're not going to be working this truck. It ain't possible with this tune in it. I hope it lasts. <laughs> we got to weld the bull gear. We should it should be good for a while. We'll take good care of it. We won't get too crazy with it. This time we won't put a ton of nitrous on it. All right, see if it'll start here. Let me get something before we start it because I'm sure it's a possibility of runaway. If it blows up, it blows up. Yeah, I hope it doesn't. Not me too, yeah, definitely. Rax's turbo won't exist much longer. Okay. You will not have a turbo much longer. We will have to change it for sure. <laughs> we turn this thing 5,000 RPMs out here, mama have a stroke. All right, fire it up. You reset the thing? Do you reset the thing? Yeah. Make sure it's in neutral. God <laughs> dang, it makes me so nervous first starting one of these. Oh, these Detroits are animals when you do this. Go for it. Oh, yes, yeah, so you got the sound now, baby. You can hear it. Different sound, ain't it? Bump the throttle just a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dang. A little bit more. <laughs> I bet she skedaddles now, buddy. Uh, fast I'd say she's going to go pretty fast. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Like I said, competition use only. <laughs> she's going to be sled pulling. Racing and sled pulling. I need to hear up these tires. Oh, guys, we got to fire up the compressor. So once the new shop's up and going, everybody's been asking, like, what are we going to do with the service truck and all that stuff? Are we going to continue to use it? So this service truck was bought for us by all of our amazing YouTube fans this, to survive the shop fire. This truck literally saved our business. So we're gonna pay it forward. We're going to use this truck 
to save people that's on the side of the road that don't have money, that are in a bad situation, or owner operators that are struggling, things of that nature. And also with us having a shop again, that's gonna help us tremendously with being able to bring in people that's broke down on the side of the road with families and trucks. That's the one thing that I've missed with my shop is the fact that I could get a text or an email or a post on Facebook, on Instagram, and be able to have them come to the shop and work on their stuff. And a lot of you guys come from that stuff. You know, that's something I've always took pride in is being able to help somebody out. So we're gonna pay it forward. We're gonna have this thing. This is gonna be running over the road and it's gonna be there to help people that's in need. So you guys helped us survive. So we're gonna pay it forward and be able to do the same thing with this truck. It, it saved us. Hopefully we can save other people. Going? Here. Okay. I'll see if I can get it. Oh, it took. Heck yeah. Here, here. <laughs> this is going to be crazy. Hey, Brax, show your mama what it does. What? <laughs> Show your mama what it does. <laughs> Remember my first one? <laughs> that not awesome. Remember the Silver International? Rex, my first hopped up truck was the same exact truck, except it had a cat in it. I hit that chicken with a four wheeler the other day. I know it. It flew right out in front of me. I couldn't stop. There we go, Brad. Pedal's a little touchy now. So, so.
Guys, that's factory injectors, factory cam. I mean, it's insane. Ooh, there's Popo. Uh oh. We're just turning around, my guy. Nothing to see here. Driver, empty driver. Ah. 
Now, I guess we got to figure out the turbo situation now. Make a few phone calls. There's a few things we'll need for it. But I think for the most part, it runs pretty good, don't it? What do you think? It was crazy, huh? You like it? What do you think, Brax? How it sound outside the truck? It does or don't? We'll fix the loudness problem. We'll get some pops on it. It's not the loudest in the world, but... We'll get the loudness straightened out. Pops and cracks. <laughs> I'd say so. You believe you can do that with a stock Detroit? We get the turbo right on it, and this thing were to be insane. You excited? Yeah. Now you got to learn to drive it. We'll get the, get the turbo right on it, and we'll take you to somewhere and hook dozer to it and let you learn how to use the clutch sled pulling with it we we'll to get some good tires for it dry shaft loop uh turbo get a we need to get a cut off on that turbo because i mean we start taking this thing all the way out to full rpm there's a chance it won't come back from it but i mean we can still add marine injectors marine cam there's so much more we can do to this thing yeah. we take it to the farm tomorrow and do some donuts and mud in the mud. Probably, probably would. We need to definitely get you used to the clutch, like bringing it up. Once that bigger turbo's on there, you'll have to bring the RPMs up and ease out on the clutch to get the boost up. That one's full is insanely easy. It's a super small turbo for that much fuel, but it's a start though. It's fun. I had fun doing it, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I had a blast. Sucker handles it, don't it? Anybody that puts Detroit down, I'll just tell them. Oh, it, yeah, I'm sure that that turbo was hating life right then. That was 50, 55 pounds of boost. And we got enough fuel for 80 or 90 pounds of boost. So I guess we'll see uh, what you guys think. All you Detroit guys, I'm just kind of, you know, we're trying to make cheap fun something we can afford. We ain't got to have a hundred and fifty thousand, two hundred thousand dollar sled truck or race truck to have a little bit of fun. Yeah, we might not go out and run everybody, but um, we can do cheap things to this thing. I've got turbos that we can put on it. I've got there's all kinds of stuff we can do to it that we've got laying around. We can make up and put together. So. Uh, but that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We love y'all to death. We have got to get this house ready to be moved out of because it is in contract. So um, big plans coming, big changes coming, and I can't wait to share them with you guys. But it's not going to be on today's video. We love y'all, and we'll see you on the next one.